I continue from Malfuzat volume 7, page 256, where Hazrat Sahib is talking about using your time for something good. Child, he may be aware of the fruits and the great status and advantages of saying Salat or not, but when he sees someone dear to him saying the Salat, then he too wants to copy them and this desire arises in his heart that he should be praying. But when the same person is old, he cannot even do that. Spiritual faculties are degraded and physical faculties are also degraded. Some are unable to see, some are unable to hear, some cannot walk and people suffer many different kinds of pains and trials and tribulations. This age for the human being is a useless age. So it is that we learn from this that the, that the time in between those two, that is childhood and old age, is the time when a man can achieve something. His muscles are strong. His strength is increasing, but that is also the time when your low desire attacks him in many different ways. And his low desires, his nafse amara, wants to keep him under his control. That is the time when you should be looking at yourself, and that is the time when you should be doing something so that your end is good. But your being is involved in such difficulties that unless you make a great effort, then this time will take you to hell and this time will make you hard-hearted. However, if you spend this time with the utmost care and cleverness and also God's blessings and mercy are with you, then there is some hope that your end may be good. For the early age is a time when you are ignorant. God will not question you about that. For God himself says that I do not put a burden on a soul that it cannot bear. And in the last age, although there is weakness, although there is slowness, but the angels, when they write a person's deed at that time, they will write, they will write them in the same way as this person was undertaking these deeds as if he was young. If someone is eager to do good deeds and to obey God's commandments and avoid what is forbidden, then when he is old and decrepit, although it may be that he is lazy or weak in performing these things, Allah, knowing his disability, shall grant him the same reward as he would have when this person was young. We can all see that an old person is just involved in, his, in himself. He cannot understand anything. That is why those are greatly blessed by God 
who at an earlier time, at a younger time, struggled to achieve something. And then in this age, when they do something, the same reward of piety and obedience to God is written in their name. Thus, the one period, that of adulthood, which is the time of your emotion or fulfilling your emotional desires and your low desires and being naughty, that is the only stage when you can achieve something. Now you should think and you should consider how you can use that period of time so that you may earn something for the hereafter.